right, let's take a look at some of the project type questions. So this is not your exact question, but it's very much like it to help you work through it. It says a sign manufacturers uh, makes uh, yield signs by cutting an equilateral triangle from a square piece of aluminum with the, the dimensions shown. The height of the yield sign to the nearest tenth of an inch is what? So what they're saying is they take um, a square piece of aluminum and then to create the yield sign they cut a triangle out of it. Now notice the triangle doesn't go clear to the end here so I know the height of the triangle is not 30. Instead what I'm going to use here to find the height let me get a new ink color real quick to find the height of that triangle and where would that height be um, this would be the best indicator of its height uh, the height straight up the middle of the triangle uh, making a right angle with the bottom that's how we determine the height of a triangle okay the best way to find that um, is going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. We are told this is an equilateral triangle, so we know that all of these sides of the triangle are 30 inches. We need to find the height straight up the middle, so I'm going to pull this piece of the rectangle, over, or excuse me, triangle over on the side. So I know this side is 30. I don't know this is my height. That's what I want to find. That's my x. And the bottom here, notice the height comes straight halfway through. So it's 30 full inches, which makes this half 15 and this half 15. So I've, what I've done is kind of taken this triangle. I need this height right here. And I've just pulled it off to the side so we can look at it without distraction. Okay, so again, I know because it was equilateral, I know all of the sides were 30. And this bottom side, when I did the height, got cut in half. I'm going to use the Pythagorean Theorem to find my missing side. So let me remind you, the Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of a right triangle, c is the hypotenuse or that longest diagonal side. Okay, so I don't know one of my legs, I'm just going to call it x. The other I know is 15 and my hypotenuse, that longest, that slanted side is 30. I need to solve this equation. So first thing I'm going to do is simplify by squaring those. 15 times 15 is 225. 30 times 30 is 900. From here, I need to continue solving. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 225 from both sides because again when you're solving, your goal is to get x completely alone and it's got that 225 with it. So now I have x squared equals 675. We have x squared, that's our only issue here. To get rid of a square, you do the square root of both sides. So I take out my calculator and find the square root of 675, and I find that it's 25.98. They want a disc rounded to the nearest tenth. Um, the 8 is going to make my 9 round up to 10, which bumps this up to 6. So in this case, this is going to be rounded to 26.0 inches for the height of that triangle. Okay, let's see where they take it next. The area of the yield sign to the nearest tenth of an inch is... Okay. I'm going to go back to my previous slide. So we are trying to find the area of the, the entire triangle there. So let's get our dimensions down and then we'll go back to that page. So with our yield sign, we know the base is 30. And we just found out you, during this problem that our height was about 26.0. Okay. So in this question, again, they want to know what is the area of the yield sign. Again, it's a triangle with a base of 30 and a height of 26. 
So let's use the formula for the area of a triangle. It's 1 half base times height or base times height divided by 2. That gives me 1 half times 30 times 26. Thirty times twenty-six gives me seven hundred and eighty. Again, I need to still take that times a half, so you can go times 0 0.5 divided by two. Either of those will work. Don't do both; <laughs> just one or the other. When I do that, I get three hundred and ninety square inches is the area of that yield sign. How much material is left after the year sign is made? So let's go back to our original question. So they originally again told us that to make a yield sign they take a square piece of metal and they cut out an equilateral triangle. Now their square piece of metal was 30 by 30. Um, we just found out that the area of our sign here was how much? 390. Okay, so the area of this triangle is 390. They want to know how much is left over on the outside. So how, what's the area of this portion here? What am I leaving out when I cut out the yield sign? Well, it would be whatever we get when we take the square. It's whatever's left over when you take that square and remove the triangle from it. Okay. So let's take a look at the area of the square. We'll subtract the area of our triangle, which we know is 390, and we'll have our answer. So what's the area of our complete square? Area of a square, we do the side squared, or length times width. So it gives me 30 squared, or 30 times 30, which is 900. Okay, we're going to take that up here. The area of our square was 900 square inches. We take out the triangle, subtract the triangle from that, and we'll have our answer. Okay, so it looks like they wasted quite a bit of material in this example. <laughs> they used 390 square inches, and there was 510 square inches left over.